Hey guys, welcome back to the studio and thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a cross stitch. Probably the most useful stitch that you can learn how to do outside of saddle stitching. You can use it to cover, you can use it to wrap things and it's quite possibly the most quintessential stitch outside of st saddle stitching itself. So, let's get started shall we? Okay guys, so I've pre-pricked the leather that we're going to be using to wrap. I've pricked it down one side and the other, so we won't be using it all today. The important thing to remember when pricking for this type of thing is to have the top holes perfectly perfectly in line. It's really important. I've marked on my hammer where it starts and where it stops because it's a tapered handle. I'm choosing to put the stitching on the inside so I have more grip for my hand. We're going to line it up with the marks. We're going to take the thread that we've pre-waxed. We're going to thread it through the first hole to be stitched. We're going to even up the thread. Now we're going to loop, it doesn't matter which way we only do this, but we're going to loop the thread over again. So it's going to be, <clears throat> it's going to be looped on the first hole. We've got the first hole done. We're going to take our right hand needle. We're going to place it through the opposite hole, down one. and it's going to come out of the hole parallel to that. Sometimes it can be a bit challenging to get it through. Keeping the thread down, otherwise you'll cross your threads. That's one half. Now we take the other needle and we pass it through the hole that this thread has come out. And it's going to come out the one opposite parallel to it. And now we're going to tighten that. Making sure to pull them tight as you go, otherwise you'll have weird results. So, right hand needle. Opposite down one. And through the hole opposite. Left hand needle, through the hole, through the opposite and down one hole, and straight across, and then pull tight. And as you can see, we're starting to get that really nice cross. You can go left first, so left needle through first. However, the crosses will be the other way around. So whichever one you do, make sure you continue doing it. So the right hand needle.
when I'm doing when I'm cutting the leather out for this, for, uh, I'm using a Nova Napper. So it, um, I'm using a Nova Napper, so it will patina very nicely. That's just my personal preference. When you're doing it and you cut the pattern out, make sure that you leave you cut the pattern about a millimeter so not much just a millimeter smaller than the size of whatever it is that you're wrapping and now the reason we do this is so that when you pull the leather tight and all leather stretches a little bit all leather does you will not have a gap between it or There'll be, there'll be no overlap. After every single stitch, make sure that you pull it tight because you can't go the, you can't pull it back because of the amount of over stitches there are. So after each stitch, make sure that you pull it tight. We're now approaching the end, as you can see. We've got two more stitches and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So again, we're going to take the right needle over, down through the hole, the next hole, and up through the one opposite. Really simple. Right? Now we're getting close to the end. It's getting going to get harder and harder to pull them tight. So we're going to pull that tight now. Pull it tight. Now, right needle. Can't find the hole. You can use a round door to open it back up again. and pull that tight. Now there's the last one done. Cross it over the top. And pull that tight. A dab of white glue in each of those holes at the end. and snip them off. And there we have it. Now you can tap down those threads if you like. And there we go. Beautifully wrapped handle.